Hello, guys. Welcome to another episode of Scrotitis Plays Feed the Beast. How you guys doing today? We're having a blast here down in our turtle quarry mining area. That's a good name for it. But uh, as you can see, we've been busy here. We've got one, two, and over here, three quarries that we've dug all the way down to almost bedrock to, uh, I believe, uh, Y7. Uh, here are some of our spoils that we've gotten. Uh, just an idea how things are working here. The uh, ores go into that chest, and then I uh, take out the cobble and the gravel and all that happy fun stuff, and we uh, put it into our barrels that we've got uh, lined up on this side. Now, uh, in uh, the near future, I want to work on a um, processing facility. Um, down here, we added an extractor. Because uh, uh, we're going to need rubber. We've got some rubber trees up top. I'll show you what we did in that space here in a second. Uh, just, uh, yeah, we got our, our coal, and that's how this was working out. I'm trying to keep it organized here by, uh, at least visually. Some of the organization doesn't make sense, but uh, I want to keep all the, uh, the pieces together until we have that separate facility for processing and storage and all that happy, happy stuff. All right, so that, uh, that looks pretty good. I'm going to get uh, some cobble out of there, but it'll work for the time being because we're not running any turtles. So let's go uh, check out the top side here before we get into today's uh, topic. Uh, it's going to be over in that direction. Couldn't really see it yet. But uh, there's our farm. We had some potatoes we were able to get down in there. We've got our full cacti wall now to protect us from annoying slimes. We uh, have it actually all the way wrapping around to this hillside, too, so it's pretty good. We've got uh, tons of rubber tree saplings. We've got uh, a couple in here. And then on the outside, we've got a whole bunch over here. I wanted to keep it secluded to this area, but we just had too many saplings. Uh, now, I still have to go through. These actually just grew, so I have to go through and uh, check them all for the locations of the uh, rubber spots, I guess. I'm not sure. Resin spots. And uh, down here, obviously, we're working on getting some cows and some sheep for uh, leather and wool. All right, so we need to be uh, looking over in uh, the direction to the right there, right across the swamp. Let me get up this hillside, and you can see what I noticed uh, a few, uh, probably a couple hours ago now. You can faintly see it off in the distance. There's a tall column there. Um, what time is it? Uh, okay, night just started. So I'm going to go ahead and cut, guys, and I'll see you in the morning. All right, we're back. You guys can see what it was that uh, I was referring to in the distance there. It's that tall black column. Uh, of course, it's raining because we're in the swamp. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, what is that? What could that be? So my first thought is that's one of those... Um, really tall, thin, um, obsidian columns. Uh, they have uh, obsolisk, obsolesk, something like that. That's some sort of name. Uh, that was my first thought. Uh, first saw some of those in the Mistcraft Age on the last server that I was on. Uh, it's kind of like what we have right here. Obviously, this is much smaller. It's only three blocks high. But I was thinking maybe that's what we have over in uh, in this area. And then we start walking and we see that we're in a wasteland. This is kind of cool because I haven't really explored these areas much, thinking we might find something cool over here. And as we get closer, it looks like the texture is different than that obsidian. Uh, let's see what we get. Look at the mini-map here. Oh, wait, what was that? <laughs> So yeah, the mini-map here obviously shows an area that's full of black, so it's not obsidian. And as we get close, we can see that it's a water texture or 
Um, let's see if, how this bucket works. Let's clear out our water here. And voila, oil bucket, guys. We have uh, struck the gold mine in terms of oil. <laughs> uh, black gold, Texas teas. Uh, yeah, so this is the, the largest by far uh, oil, uh, what is this called, geyser, I guess, that I've ever seen. It goes easily 20 blocks into the sky. So this kind of spoils it, but this is today's episode, guys. We're gonna we're gonna um, we're gonna build a rig around this oil. So uh, just to investigate, let's head down here and see how far down it goes. Obviously, like I said, it goes about 20 blocks up, which means that it it has a tremendous amount of oil. But oh, here we go. Whoa, wait a second. There's tons down there. They may not be source blocks though. I think when you harvest oil, you only get the source blocks, not the flowing block. That doesn't account for anything, so. But still, holy cow, we're down to 47. It looked like it went further down from there as well. Wow. All right, so we're back up at the surface here, guys, and we're working on our base for our oil rig. Okay, now my thoughts for the uh, the design of this is to just have sort of a column that goes up around the base of it with these windows that you can see the oil from the outside. And then um, we'll have a platform above that and then the actual oil drilling apparatus above that and try to replicate what a, uh, a real-life oil rig looks like. But uh, from here, I wanted to put uh, a little entryway something that we can get in and out easily and then we're going to start building up our sides here. So that uh, gives you the idea of that. And this is what we've got. Uh, we, we built high enough. Now, this is the level where I want to, uh, well, maybe take it up a little bit higher, but then I want to have a platform, you know, where all the uh, processing is. Maybe the tanks will be there where we actually store the oil that's been drilled. Um, and then uh, my idea is, obviously, we're not going to process it here. I want to send the oil as well as all of our ores that we mine to one processing facility. So we're going to need to have tracks um, I'm thinking we're going to do railcraft stuff to transport the oil as well. And so we'll have uh, loading and, and uh, or importing, exporting, loading dock, whatever it would be called, on that platform as well. But uh, I want to want to dress up the outside a little bit. Uh, I decided to use uh, just th the stone grays just because that sort of fits what an oil rig would look like. And uh, the only problem is it's so bland. So I thought I would try to dress it up with these blocks, which I absolutely love. I wish they were in vanilla uh, because of the, the texture that they are. They're basically um, the stone half slabs, but the texture is a full block. And I absolutely love it. I thought that these would uh, dress up the outside a little bit. And I planned on... Uh, going around and doing each of the uh, four sides the same, where I just take these two diagonal pieces out and replace them with these. Uh, I'm sorry, the, the name of them is actually escaping me. What, did, was it, what does it say here? It, it's just, it just says stone slab, but it's, it's a full block. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to replace those on uh, all four sides, the corners, to sort of dress up and give it a cleaner look. Uh, the build but really like those blocks so this ladder is actually going to be our main access hatch up to the uh, platform all right so we've got our little room built and i just want to clean it up adding little accents again with these with these regular stone half slabs now we're just going to pop these in, in a certain couple different places give it some depth and dimension and color variation and all that happy happy good stuff so um this is how those are made actually you just take your stone slabs and you put them 
side by side, and you make blocks out of them. Pretty simple. Uh, and they basically translate evenly, which is nice too. So I'm just going to go ahead and fill in this platform level with these texture blocks. All right. Uh, here we go. Alright, and here's what we got from a distance, guys. The, the uh, mining platform now, where we're going to do a lot of our, our extras, have been completed. This is what we, we got. I, I love it so far. I think it looks really, really cool. Um, I want to try to dress up these sides just a little bit with a darker color. So I'm going to throw some of these cobble walls on it. All right, so we're on the platform, and I think it's time now to build our uh, structure around the actual oil uh, itself. Uh, we need to get, uh, we need to build this up to the top, so that we can have our um, mining pump at the top to be able to get the oil, and then pump it down from because the, the the very top of these um, oil. I, don't, I still can't think of the right word. These oil geysers, the very top block of it, and uh, all the way down through the center are source blocks. So we want to make sure that we get our drill all the way up so that we can get all of the oil that's available in this geyser. So we need to build a structure to get us up there. And I thought that these iron scaffolding would be both effective because you can climb them like a ladder, but then also they uh, replicate what uh, oil rigs look like so we're just uh, going eight up for this level and then we're going to put a platform down uh, once we get there perfect okay so we're eight up now that leaves us still half a stack of our um, of our iron scaffolding hopefully it's enough to get us all the way to the top but let's go ahead and build this platform out around this level and uh, what I've done is I've made, it's a little oblong, a little uh, off-centered. And the reason for that is we need to, uh, one of the sides is going to have to have uh, redstone and piping. And so the bigger side is the side that we're going to run that piping on. So we're ready to go up our next eight blocks. And uh, hopefully, we're actually going to be a little shy it looks like not going to have quite enough to get us all the way to the peak. Looks like we're about three blocks shy, but uh, not to worry. We can we can work it out here. Let's go ahead and just fill this in with smooth stone. It's sort of our accent piece when we're using these uh, slab, bl bl ugh, slab bricks, blocks. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, seven, eight. Okay, and one more on this side to do to get us up to where we need to put our pump and uh, do a little bit of redstone work. All right, so there we go. To save a little time, I thought I'd put our pump in. We've got our waterproof piping, and we've got our redstone engines, and it doesn't appear to be pumping, guys. Um, we've got just the... A level of, of half slabs up at this just to sort of keep the continuity of it getting thinner and smaller as you go up. I thought we'd use half slabs around here as supports and uh, just trying to finish this walkway around the, the uh, pipe that's going to be bringing all of our deliciously rich oil down and nothing's coming out of our pump. Um, Something's set up wrong. So let's go ahead and check out the redstone work. It's actually real simple. And I think we're going to leave the switch up here. You can see it just makes a T. We're using three redstone engines, one on each available side, and then the uh, piping is coming down the other, so there's not room for the uh, redstone engine there. You know what? I think 
I think there's a problem with those engines. Let me turn this off and, uh, yeah, there's something wrong with where we have things set up here. All right, so I'm just uh, looking around these platforms here. I I really like the way this has looked, especially up at this level. I think it replicates that of an oil rig almost uh, perfectly. I uh, just want to give you the all-around full-view look. And here we have our tanks that are going to be storing our oil that we got. We've got nine tanks set up right now, which will evenly disperse with connections on all three. Uh, the cobble steps at the base are sort of temporary for the time being. Uh, like I said earlier, I want to use Railcraft to load and unload the oil from here to our processing plant, which we haven't decided where that is or to start or started building it yet. Um, but I'm thinking the bottom of that would then be uh, where we we suck out the oil and uh, put it into our loaders for our tanks, our tank carts. So that's that. Let's go check out that pump. All right, so I am not very bright. <laughs> we need the redstone engines not on the piping but on the actual pump itself. So all we're going to do is uh, move everything down a level, essentially. Uh, the wiring should be pretty easy, too. Uh, we just need to, uh, like I said, take the existing redstone engines and move them down. All right, so we got them all facing, actually attached to the uh, pump itself now. We move the same wiring configuration down. And actually, there would be room, if I wanted to get a little bit fancier with the redstone, to put that fourth engine on. But I don't think it's necessary. Uh, if you look, you can kind of see the arm reaching down. And what's going to happen is that's going to reach all the way down through the, the base, through all of the oil geyser. And then once it reaches the bottom, we'll start actually seeing something into our uh, tanks here. So that's what we're waiting for here, guys. Okay, some time has passed. Did a quick cut, and we've got oil. We're, our setup is working. I'm excited. And look at all that. You might as well call that gold. Now, uh, the goal is going to be to, like I said numerous times now, get that to a processing plant where we work on our oil refineries. And, oh, wow. Look at how low our oil's gotten already. It's already dropped, what, six source blocks probably? Six or seven. Yeah, seven source blocks we've got to drop down already. That uh, took quite a hit. But I still even, I like the way that the structure looks even without the oil. It, 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 it resembles that of a, of, of a drilling rig, which is really cool. So yeah, pumps are going. Let's go ahead and turn that off for the time being. I'll do the rest of the pumping off camera. But I want to get a look at this bad boy from a distance with some oil still left in it. Uh, because we kind of designed it, not thinking that we'd be pumping all the oil out of it, but we designed it to sort of still have the oil left over in it. So anyway, guys, that's going to do it for our episode today. Um, Feed the Beast Season 2. I want you guys uh, throw in the comments how you're liking it so far. Um, I hope I'm not disappointed too many people by starting this new world over, but I think it just made sense instead of trying to fight and get that other world to start fresh and do some new things that we haven't done before. So, uh, like I said, guys, this has been Scrotitis playing Feed the Beast, and I will check you guys all in the next episode. We'll see ya.